It's Snapshot Day, and that's really exciting. It's really exciting for two reasons. Because number one, normally Snapshot Days come like 10 years after Minecraft Live happens. And the second reason is because we now have access to this boy right here, Chiseled Bookshelf. Look at that. Look at it, it's in all of its glory. And not only does this thing have really cool designs, but if we grab ourselves a book from this brand new rearranged creative inventory, uh, then we can get the books actually in the bookcase, which is something that surprisingly is revolutionary for Minecraft, because this was the bookshelf that we had before. Look at it, it's just stationary. You can't do anything with it. This is so cool. And you want to know the other thing that's cool about it? This is pumping out one redstone signal, right? Boom, 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 boom. Now it's pulling out like five or something. No, that, that's six, six of them. It's pumping out six redstone signals. And so we can take a redstone repeater and power something over here. Only when you put in a few of these, which means that as they showed in Minecraft Live, we can make a really cool pull out a book up from the bookcase and then a, a, a secret door opens. I've been wanting this for years. All right, you see this? Look at this. Boom. Boom. <clears throat> Boom, boom, there we go. Look at that. A secret room back here. We can store all of our diamonds in like this little pit. Look at that. Perfectly hidden. Though, now that I think about it, this does actually bring up a really cool point. The fact that I had to pull two books means that this comparator output isn't actually correct. Because if I pull one book from here, then it doesn't pull back. But if I pull two books, it does. But to make the piston push back in, I need to put in two books. Now this is going to bring up some interesting resetting mechanics because that means that I will then have to reset with two books rather than one book, which is odd. But I could use two books and then get one book back so that I would only have to pull it once, once more. Or alternatively, I can keep both books in so that the door is even more secret. And so nobody can just whoopsie do accidentally took a book. No, you have to take two books purposefully to get into my secret door. All that to say that as a redstone nerd, I am really excited for this. And if you're a redstone nerd out there too, hey homie, what's up? You should be excited for this too. And third point, we're going to make some really cool stuff today with this. But I'm not going to, you know, build the library or anything. Uh, we're just gonna do a quick slash locate and then go structure <laughs> and then go for what wait what's it called mansion there we go and then it'll tell us the location of a mansion whoop de doop de doo hey wow look I have a mansion but all we have to do is find a suitable room for us to put our library in. I'd say this chest room is pretty nice. Good ceiling height, a decent, you know, amount of floor space. And so we just go slash fill air. Wow, look, a completely empty room for us to put our library in. How nice. Oh, wow, look, our library seems to have just expanded whoa there was a there was a chest there huh weird anyways now we have a double wide library and you know what these are lays in here i feel like they would make nice guests for our library whoa is that a wall forming you know it really looks like our little library here is about to expand once again. Hey, would you look at that? A bookshelf appeared. You know what would be the perfect little item for these guys to have? A book. Hey guys, come here. It's book time. Yeah. 
You want books? Where's that other one? There you go, you have a book. Look at them, my little followers. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Books for everyone. <laughs> I've never played around with the lays. <laughs> he just spat the ball light at me. <laughs> I think that one last thing needs to be added. Uh, fellow book enjoyer. All right, gather around, my my fellow book enjoyers. Did I get all of them? I think I got all of them. Not that guy. There we go. Yeah. Look at them looking for books. Ah, how cute. All right, I have now added all of the chiseled bookshelves in. Holy crap, that took a while. But now we can get down to business because... Oh gosh, there's no free space here. Okay, let's try the other side of the library. Over here. Oh gosh, there's no free space there. Get- No, you're- You're- You're staying trapped in the library. No, no, you little book enjoyers. Get back here. Go read some books. Okay. There we go. I fixed it. It's fine. Alright. Now this book problem. What are we doing here? Uh... Hmm. <laughs> Whoops, I trapped all the book enjoyers in there. I guess it's time to go close off a wall. Dang, this place is a dead end. Oh, man. Almost as if it's the perfect place to hide some redstone behind. <laughs> Nobody will ever know. Yeah, that doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> With that uh, out of the way, I can rejoin my book enjoyers. Oh my gosh. I lured them away from the door with books, and they are now giving them back to me. Like the gracious little book enjoyers that they are. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now we can safely get ourselves a redstone signal out of that place. And then we can just run this over here. Okay, my fellow book enjoyers, watch this. When we pull the magic book and the other magic book, the light turns on. Oh, what, what do you think of that, my fellow book enjoyer? He thinks... <laughs> I can't do that noise. Why did I try? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. I'm just gonna continue my book enjoying. Anyways, I think we're going to go for a classic down into the floor drop uh, with some cool little flying machines. How hard is that going to be in this tiny little space? No idea, but we're going to try. Okay, man, you're kind of getting in my way. I have to place a block there. Would you mind just, you know, moving? Okay, thank you. Okay, not gonna lie, I haven't built one of these things in actual months, so I will be very surprised if I get this right on the first time. But, in theory, if I pop one of those down there, do a little bit of redstone dust action, and then dark oak button. Okay, that brought it down two blocks, but it's there. It has promise. That was a good start. Alright, let's just push that back up. And it's all broken. What happened there? Okay, test number two, electric boogaloo. Nice. Nice. Okay, so that is the bookcase going down. 
And then... That is the bookcase going up. We have a sealed bookcase. Okay, so now that we have the actual flying machine down, all we have to do is hook it up. Which, in theory, should be pretty easy. We just have to have this part set up so that when... Okay, maybe it's a little bit less easy than I thought it was. We have to make this into a pulse. Okay, so now let's say I turned it on. Yada yada yada. Pulse gets into there and then it clicks once so that the observers can see it and then this won't be in the way. And so now we need to send it downwards, which in theory should actually be even easier because all we have to do is hook this up and send it down here. Okay, that was pretty basic stuff. Shouldn't have caused too many problems, so if we just... Uh, I mean, if we just... And that's what we call a failed design. Okay, what went wrong there? Okay, pull a book out, pull another book out. And it's still wrong, what did I- what am I doing? Where did I go wrong? What happens if we put books back in? And then- and then take books out. Yeah, okay, I- Oh! Oh, wait! Okay, I didn't fix this part. There we go, okay. So now... It should be fixed, so if we put books back in, nothing happens, but then... When we take books out... Yes! And then once you're done, you go in here, you do your business, you come back out, you put the books back in. And nothing happens. Ha! Ah. Wait! What? Huh? What did I do? Did I just have to, like, reset it or something? Uh, what? <laughs> I did nothing from the last clip to this clip. What happened there? Okay, sure. We'll roll with it. Uh, alright. That's done. I don't really want to touch that, so I'm just gonna move on with my life. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get back to this. <laughs> what the heck happened there? So actually, now that I think about it, there is, there is something that I have to fix. And if I just trigger this manually, you'll see there's a... There's a bit of an issue here, you know, you, you're walking, you're walking, right? You, you open your secret passage like an absolute boss, you start walking, oops, you fall down into the hole. Man, how are we gonna fix that? Well, let me tell you how. We're gonna do some on-screen redstone right here. We're gonna pop some lamps down, right, 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 you see that? We take these out, we put these back on, bang, bang, bop. There we go, redstone fixed. It looks semi-decent. Alright, and then we just reset this. Boom. It goes up, right? It, it, it's, it's, it's back up. It's, it's doing its thing. It's back up. It's all good. And then we take these two out. And nothing happens because I freaking messed it up. Okay, that went horribly wrong. Alright, we're gonna do a bit of on-screen redstone to fix this. We're just gonna do bing bang bop. Pop one of those down there, do another one of that. Do 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 do. Pop over here, grab one of these, pop it down there, and Oh gosh, I messed it up. No, 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 no. Ah! And it's fixed. There we go. So, we we come over here, we pop the books back in, boom, it goes up. You see that? And then we take them out again, and boom, it goes down. We fixed it, baby. Live on on camera. Alright, editor, you better remember to cut that, because if you don't, then that's going to be really embarrassing for me. So just please, please, I'm telling you, editor, this is a message from me to you. Do not forget to cut that out. You got it? Good. Alright. Keep on, keep on doing your thing. Keep on editing the video. Okay, we're just going to continue this red carpet here, down this, down this little alleyway. Because I want to have, you know, I, I guess I don't even need to explain it. What's the number one definition of richness in Minecraft? 
You've seen it before. You love it. You mine for it every day. D a day in, day out. You don't do nothing but it. Alright? You mine for diamonds. So here we go. Here's a diamond pile in our diamond vault. It stretches all the way to the ceiling. But that's gonna be the end. It is time for us to bring our final book enjoyer. I don't know where all of the rest of them went. Give him a book. Put the other books in the shelf so that the thing disappears. And then nobody will ever know about our secret stash of diamonds. <laughs>